Hey guys, Wade here again. Hey, I wanted to show you my fuel system from the pilot seat back. Specifically, I wanted to show you the fuel sump and then the feeds that come in from the main tanks. This is the one on the left. Now, I have an internal fuel sump, actually two of them, because where the the external fuel sumps go right back in here I have the Mike Melville uh, Burkut style armpit intakes for the engine cooling so I didn't want to disrupt that air I was originally going to plan on going with a no management fuel system I had already very early on bought an and air fuel valve and after assessing it, I just felt like, for me, I was just going to go ahead and make a left and right system. Uh, I still think that the no management fuel system is fine. It has its risk, of course, but it's not uh, anything that would be above and beyond what I would think that I would undertake. But I just went ahead and did the left-right fuel system again because I had the end air fuel valve. And I did feel it was just a bit safer in case you lose a gas cap, you know don't have maybe vapor lock or you don't lose fuel from cross flow from one side to the other not a big deal but that's just kind of how I went so you can see two different compartments here the right sump tank the left sump tank and then the feeds that come in uh, this other little line right here this guy right here this is a quarter inch vent line that accompanies the fuel feed. That's a half inch tube right there. This is the Vance Atkinson setup here. Uh, he kind of drew up a schematic. Um, I don't remember who it was, but a gentleman in England um, kind of made some notes on there. He suggested the half inch fuel line flared and set down a little bit lower, so that's what I did. Um, so this is it, again, over here you have the half inch fuel line coming in on the right side from the right main tank you have the quarter inch vent line these are both floxed as far as both sides are floxed in to the front top of the sump and of course i have the holly hydra mats i don't have them in right now uh, you've seen pictures of those i'm sure the main three lines coming from and to the back the two lower lines going forward are the feed lines right here and here from the Holly Hydra mats. Again, those my main thing with the Holly Hydra mats is that they give you 15 micron filtering. They do give you a lot of, uh, you know, they pick up from just about any angle as long as it's touching the fuel, for, so that's pretty cool. But the main concern I had, because coming out of the tanks, which are composite, into the thigh support, fuel sump, which is also composite, as we know, composite aircraft often get uh, some nasties in the fuel that causes engines to quit, and I just didn't, didn't want an engine out, I wanted to avoid that. This top line comes from these, uh, I should say, these two bottom lines go to the fuel selector left and right, and then out of the fuel selector, the fuel goes to the uh, fuel pump the EFII fuel pump. So this top line right here goes through this fuel pulsation damper which is from Matronix and then this it continues on through the back seat bulkhead and then you can see right there I actually have that it's not really installed but it is attached to this tubing right here and then Underneath, I'm in the process of putting a mount for it in there. So that's the fuel system. This right here is the oil line return. I will have a oil hose going to this fitting. I don't know if you can see it. There's a second fitting. You can see there's two fittings there for the oil heat. Uh, so this bottom is the oil return line. I will uh, insulate it more. Um, this is just an uh, initial insulation there. Okay, one thing, last thing I wanted to do was show you 
Now this is actually a little bit nose high, but I'm going to do a marble test if I can find my marble. There it is. So you can see again, that's this is a little nose high. So here we're going to do a marble test. Now with it being a little nose high, I've noticed this works about 70% of the time on the left. But you can see the marble goes right in there. So, of course, when I pre-flight the airplane, this is for the fuel drain valves, by the way. When I pre-flight the airplane, the nose will be down. So this was with slightly nose high, and you can see that I've contoured the floor with wet micro on each side of the fuel sump tanks. And the marble goes right down uh, into where the fuel drain valve will be. And again, that's 0.1 degrees nose high. So, or 0.2, depending on if I'm leaning on the airplane or not. So that's pretty good. Obviously, with the nose down in any way, shape, or form, the water, any water that may possibly be in these sump tanks, are uh, are going to be down in that corner so I can drain them off. Now, a lot of people have reported that they never find any water in the sump tanks, but I figured uh, uh, a few hours of time, a little bit of uh, reduced fuel. Starting out, each sump was about 1.3 that I estimated gallons, and uh, contouring the floor, putting in this, uh, I estimate it's about one gallon per side, which is just a, um, um, okay, and that's an estimation. I estimated by doing some calculations, I don't know if I'm actually right or not, but it seems like it's ballpark, that the original fuel sumps, the stock fuel sumps, are about 0.58 something gallons, so about 0.59 gallons. So this gives me a good third of a gallon more on each side, and it's a good use of space. One last thing I'll show you, since it's part of the fuel system. The port here and the port here is for a low-level optical fuel sensor, and then uh, it goes if it goes from wet, which is in the off state, to dry, which then rings off the fuel sensor on my EFIS, it tells me that uh, I have an issue. That's the, uh, these lines right here, sorry for the jiggling around. These lines right here, embedded Nyloflow, go over to this side right here, and then it picks up where the main uh, small cable run is to, from the front to the back of the aircraft. So I'll have a fuel sensor here for the, a low fuel sensor here for the left side, sump tank and then a low fuel sensor here for the right side fuel tank and then one last thing before i sign off i'll just show you here is the raw blank as it is currently that i'll be working on today which is the fuel sump top and the bottom contoured thigh support uh, for the bottom of the guy in back gallon back seat. So that is it. Again, this is my fuel system. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, show you the marble test. It's working well. And uh, so, so far all is good. Uh, when I work on the front side, I'll, uh, I'll give you a, a video on showing the, um, the front side with the and air fuel valve, the guy or the pilot's thigh support, and then also the um, the EFII fuel pump. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Cheers.